I want to be a sacrifice I want to be a sacrifice for you So burn me from the inside out Burn me from the inside out Burn me from the inside out Cause I want to be a sacrifice for you I just want him to use me as a living sacrifice. I just want to lay down everything. Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, sell all that you have, give to the poor, and you'll have treasure in heaven, then come and follow me. He's asking us to sacrifice everything, everything. So that's why I tell him, I wanna be a sacrifice for you. So burn me from the inside so, out. Loving Jesus is a sacrificial thing. That's, that was his whole ministry. He literally, according to John 3, 16, which all of you know, for God to love the world, that he gave his only son that if any of us believed in him, we wouldn't perish, but we would have eternal life. So he gave his son, meaning he sacrificed it. He put his son's life on the line, like death. To be in a relationship with Jesus is a sacrificial one. And something Jesus has been asking me to let go of are my Randy Melville clothes. These kinds of <laughs> shirts, they have this logo. I have lots of them. Not too long ago, I was spending time with God and there's this young man, he's a rich young man, he said, what can I do to have eternal life, right? And Jesus said, well, first Jesus told him to keep the commandments, that's what he was already doing, so for me, he tells me to keep seeking him and to keep laying down my life and keep praying, worshiping, and serving him. But I'm like, but God, I wanna do more for you. I wanna be a literal living sacrifice. I know I'm not the only one. Like we get to this place and I'm there now, like where I'm like, God, I want to be on fire for you. I want to like literally give you my life the way you gave me yours. Just use me, God, use me, please. I want you to. And then God reminded me, you're not willing to give up your little stupid tank tops. I'm sorry for saying that word. Clothes, especially when I've asked you to, especially these kinds of clothes, like from the specific brand. And you want me to like ask you to lay down your whole life? These are just cloth, it's fabric, it's material. And you want me to, ask you to lay down your whole life and i'm like god i can do it i will do it and i'm like but then why haven't you obeyed you've had months to do it now i don't want this series to just be me complaining about things i should have done that i haven't done well today's the day that i'm gonna do it i'm going to do it lord and of course i'm not just being rash or hasty in my decisions like oh i'm just gonna burn my clothes just because i have so many clothes because trust me i spent money on that <laughs> I am okay with the consequence of having lost that money. Like I'm not gonna sell these things because I don't want it to affect others the way that they affected me. Here's a backstory so that you guys don't think I'm just being rash or haste. Like, oh, she's just burning, you know? I'm 19 and I'm almost 20. <laughs> I turned 20 September 11th, which is this Saturday. And for a long time throughout my teen years, something I struggled with, I already told you, is, you know, caring what people think, wanting to fit the stereotype types especially the popular ones even in high school that was my weakness wanting to be popular and i did a lot to acquire that my phone died so i have to go get my camera i took some notes that i want to basically explain if you don't already know what brandy is and then after explaining all the things people already know are wrong with it i'll tell you what the deeper spiritual things are and why specifically the lord told me that i could not wear it and to get rid of it it's time for change and i am seriously tired of playing the pretend game and being you know aloof in vain and not willing to lay down these things when i am asking god to use my literal life as a sacrifice which that's pretty crazy because if you can't let go of things then how can you let let go of your life you know whoever holds on to their life will lose it and whoever lays down their life for my name's sake will find it i believe that's the scripture <laughs> okay so the brandy melville girl is cool she's simple she has style and so do all her friends they sell this aesthetic of being skinny and despite all the controversy it works they're up with the trends and even set them they're also racist 
because they promote they promote skinny, conventionally pretty girls, predominantly white, or with Eurocentric features. When you buy the product, you feel as though you are accepted and you fit into this cool girl club and like everyone wants to be you. And it's so it's goofy. It's like ridiculous. Like hearing this, hearing me talk sounds ridiculous, but a lot of people buy into that, myself included. I bought into that. And I'm never gonna say, oh, I wear this and I'm cooler than you. You just wear it and you feel that you are, which leads me into the spiritual part of this all. The feeling that you are cool or that you are better than people, it fuels this pride. I'm not just talking about these clothes. Now, if this applies to you in any way with any other brand or thing you've given, you know, a lot of your heart and attention and time to, for Oh my gosh, what's all that? Ruckus. Sorry. I lost my train of thought. Basically, I I bought into that. I bought into that big time. And I spent hundreds of dollars. And now I have to give it up. And I'm not even mad. It's my own fault. I deserve for those hundreds of dollars to go right down the drain and right down the fire. Because Honestly, even when I was clicking order and checkout, I felt the twinge, the little squish in my heart that I just ignored and, you know, bypassed. I'm like, oh, it's not that big a deal. It's okay. But obviously now, <laughs> I'm seriously not okay with going forward with this, especially because of the effect it's having on me. It's like, it hinders my worship. Like, it's like there's a chip on my shoulder, but it's not a small one. It's a big one. And to ignore this and pretend like it's not a problem makes it a bigger problem and spiritually that's what the enemy does he likes to keep things in the dark and when sin is kept hidden and kept in the dark in that way then it has more of a hold and more of a control on you and i don't want this to have a control on me now i'm going to tell you a little story this past summer i went through a lot of attacks against my flesh um and by flesh i mean like you know how there's less of the flesh less of the eyes and the pride of life well, loss of the flesh was like consuming me and I couldn't figure it out um, I'm not only gonna say it was the clothes but a big part of it was these clothes I mean were these clothes because when I thought back to it today I was just thinking um, even thinking about it would put me into an episode where I like flashbacks of things <laughs> having these clothes when I wear them would make me feel a certain way not lustful like I want men or something like that but like to be lusted after like feeling extra confident like i can do whatever i uh, like i'm i am in a girl like in it girl and the worst part of this all is the two owners are two grown men and they target young teenage girls that's their audience they sell the idea of the schoolgirl feel which is almost like you i'm sure you guys probably have heard you know how in the inappropriate world of fill in the blank they really sell that like schoolgirl doing bad things and it's so wrong and oh, god it, it just feels horrible in my heart right now talking about it anyway in conclusion i'm getting rid of these and i think if the lord is asking you to lay down any parts or any things in your life as a sacrifice to lay those things down because that's where that's where the sacrificial love begins you know we are always like and not just me, because I, I know a lot of you said this too in the last video. I want, I to, want be to be a sacrifice. I want to lay down my lay life, down my for, life him. for him. I want, I want to be on fire, but we're not willing to lay down the small things. And so, if God tells you to lay down a thing, be grateful and do it so gladly. Like, best believe, I'm over the moon to take these to the fire pit. And so let's go. This is the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. <sighs> This is what I feel like is a sacrifice before the Lord. It's not just about the clothes, it is about the heart. But to sacrifice this is my commitment to like, honestly not finding my identity in the clothing I wear. Not finding my identity and in fitting into a stereotype and definitely not a stereotype that's meant to drive lust and pride and arrogance. But I never, and so I never, in the name of Jesus I burn that off of my life because that is carnal it is vain and it is darkness trying to, to consume light and I'm not okay with that it's all fake it just burns like that what a foul odor he says he desires obedience and not sacrifice meaning what the Lord
Lord really wants from us is to obey. Like, obey Him when He says, love me. Don't put anything above the Lord your God. Nothing. Not your relationships. Not your job. Not your emotions. Not the way you dress. Not the things you have. Nothing. No thing. No thing that's perishable, obviously. Because they're just metal, wood, and stone. All of them. Those things are perishable. They can die. So to put your trust in something that burns so easily, your worth, your value, it's literally burning. That's so crazy. So like put so much value and heart and care into these things. That are, it's literally burning. Why is that like crazy? It's like burning. That's crazy. I need God to take me seriously. As seriously as I took fitting into that stereotype, I want God to take me that seriously. And so I am willing to lay down whatever it takes. And my encouragement to you is to be willing to lay down whatever it takes. This is just the beginning, but a willing heart is what the Lord desires.